Yeah, this is that years long lawsuit that's been going ever since a number of problematic executions led to the procedure being put on hold here in Oklahoma. Since then, they have, of course, now restarted and a number of death row inmates argue that there are still issues with the procedures. Much of the challenge rests on one of the three drugs that the state uses to execute people. It's called midazolam. It's supposed to knock the person out so that they're not awake for the next two drugs. Lawyers for the inmates argue that it doesn't work properly. The state says it works as intended. Some of the arguments will center around the four executions the state's performed since they restarted last year. There is some dispute over the first. John Grant, after media witnesses said he convulsed and vomited. The state says he was not conscious at the time and would not have felt pain. Three other executions, two of which I witnessed myself, happened without incident. And it does appear that the state has a very good shot at winning this lawsuit. The judges already had a number of hearings on it and the state has won at those hearings. But of course, we'll see once it's all over. If the state does win, they could add as many as two dozen inmates to the execution calendar. It's just not how, uh, clear how quickly that could happen.